Welcome to Thursday, August the 13th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating the truths of God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. The Word of God we celebrate today that continues our weekly theme of the identity of Jesus are the words recorded in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 3, verse 17. And a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. It was at the beginning of his earthly ministry that Jesus journeyed from his hometown in Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John, to be anointed by the Holy Spirit, to be confirmed and proclaimed as the Son of God. John the Baptist was the final prophet of God who, like his predecessors, called the people of Israel to repentance of their sins and to turn back to the worship of the one true God of their forefathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. John's voice was the voice of the one calling out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. Before his own birth, John's parents, Zechariah and Elizabeth, were told that their son had already been chosen by the Lord God to be the forerunner of the promised Messiah. They learned, before their son was even born, that John's mission was to announce the coming kingdom of God, which had been promised from of old. The Holy Spirit gave John the Baptist the words to announce the arrival of Jesus, but also the words to identify him before others. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. John also recognized the significance of the Holy Spirit descending like a dove and coming to rest on Jesus. Behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The holy triune God was truly present at the Jordan River, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, at the beginning of Jesus' earthly ministry, a ministry with a clear mission and purpose to redeem the lost children of Israel and to redeem all sinners from the curse of sin. Jesus was sent from heaven to redeem us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse himself for us. The holy, sinless Son of God did this for us not only by dying on the cross, taking our sins and the punishment we deserve, but he also fulfilled the law of God perfectly, a life under the law we are incapable of living. Jesus was required to live God's law perfectly in our stead, so that through the saving faith that is born in our baptism and the word, Jesus' victory over sin and death becomes our victory over sin and death, and his life becomes our new life. Never doubt, but firmly believe the words spoken by God the Father at the Jordan River as the Spirit descended upon Jesus. Behold, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I am overwhelmed by your grace, your glory, and your love that sent your only Son, Jesus, to accomplish all things for me. Indeed, I am not worthy of any of your gifts of love, and yet in your goodness and grace, your Son, Jesus Christ, lived and died for me and for all sinners, so that I might die to the old life under the curse of sin and through his powerful resurrection, live a new life here on earth, and know of the day of my own physical resurrection to the mansions of heaven. During my new life here on earth, may I live through the power of the Holy Spirit, in faith and love for my Lord Jesus Christ, in devotion to you, my heavenly Father, creator and provider. For you sent your one and only Son, 
the Lamb of God, to take away my sins and the sins of the world. May I joy and cherish that precious truth as I live to share the good news of your gospel love in your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. In his precious name, I now offer before your throne in heaven the prayer your beloved Son, my Savior Jesus, taught me to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace in Jesus. Behold, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Walk with him, follow him, be strengthened all of your life through faith in his holy saving name.